why it's so aggravating. <laughs> the old turkeys, man. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely not going to pitch out here. They're definitely going to pitch into this field. I think they'll either come up here, then go that way, or they're going to go through that corner and go that way. But either way, you think they're going that way? I feel like it. I don't see any reason they go south. They came from the north today. They didn't come from the south. So either, well, if we sit where we usually do, we could probably still shoot them if they came out in the corner because they're going to come. There he is. That's the same one? Mm. <laughs> that, that was two different turkeys. No. I think it was. See, that's close. That's close. Yeah. That is 100% close. Alright, so our morning plan is to and go down to where the next field meets and set up in that corner right there. So, and most of the time the turkeys have been coming out and then going that way. So we're hoping they do the same thing. I'm headed to meet Blake right now. Um, yeah, his spot. He's got a, uh, we've got a bird roosted right up in here. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out. It'd be nice. Don't worry, I'm going to change out of this mountain camo. Um, yeah, yesterday I came out here with Blake and got a bird roosted. I've, I've hunted Mississippi my whole I've hunted Mississippi my whole life and I've only had a bird gobble on the roost like maybe four or five times ever. Cause I killed one one day that came out there. Weren't you with it? So where was that by myself? No. No. No, never heard it. Really? It's crazy the turkey's gobbles a ton and we're not very far from him. And the way we're sitting up right here, we can't hear him at all. The blade went out there and walked. And I heard him seven times within what? 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Yeah. But yeah, right there, he sounds like he's further. But right there, he sounds like he's in the same spot. Think he heard that? He has to. I fucking pulled it. Good luck. <laughs> oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, they all just came like running out of the corner and just, I was like, well, jeez. Closer. That's 
see him right there? Yeah. You see him? Yeah. I think. Right there. To the left of that tree. Now come this way. Oh, that tree. Come to me. Yeah, I see several turkeys. I just can't tell. Oh, yeah, I see. He's struck. Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> well, I was wondering how close he Gosh, is. that's close, man. Come Let him get a little more straight. I don't have anything left. Kill him. Go, 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 Well, we got him. <laughs> that was like on the edge of in range. I'm gonna say so. You unloaded pretty quick. Yeah, I don't think I hit him on two or three. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I thought he had an automatic over here. You waited, literally, you shot when he was behind the one tree. Really? The, the, well, you can see that's all I had left. Oh, I, I, I couldn't tell. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? I say I had a little more of a gap. I was like waiting for you to, I was like, okay, we're good. He's got a few more steps. But I said, as soon as I said, all right, you kill him. And then you shot. I was like, oh, I thought he's going to take like two more steps. We got the whole thing. That's all that matters. Mmm, solid. I bet he did. I kept saying you better run. Hey, we didn't need to go back up to old where I was just I'm telling you, there was at least three in there. If I can convince Blake to drive two hours to go turkey hunting, mm. that's, that's a lot, I know for him. Honestly, it's a lot for me. This turkey don't have a spur. That turkey ain't got a spur on that side. Oh, oh. Up no, it ain't. No, no. Damn. I've seen a handful of them like that, but I only got one spur. He was a pretty turkey. He never, I swear he never broke strut. Mm -mm. The entire time it felt like. So this was the bird that we had roosted last night. And uh, we thought he was going to be right there. And sure enough, he was. Gobbled really good on land. What's crazy is we couldn't hear him this morning at all. Not too bad, well. But uh, we couldn't hear him at all this morning. And then we'd walk out here and he could hear him plain as day. That was weird. But my standpoint is... Uh, you shoot until uh, he's not moving no more, so we got him though. Until yep, until you run out of shells, like <laughs> I said, I had one, I had one shell on my vest, and I was digging for it, trying to get it out for him, but I was like, you better go out there, man. Oh, one spur turkey. You don't see that super often, but you, it definitely happens a little bit. He got knocked off, or you think? I see a little, I see a little knob. Yeah, it's got man. a little knot. I don't know.
you know you live in Mississippi when. Crawfish. Don't cook him up for a bowl tonight, boy. This is the killing machine right here. This is the killing machine. Oh, perfect. That would be three turkeys and three hunts for the hunts that I've been on. Um, did I mention that uh, turns out that I can hunt that spot where all the turkeys were yesterday morning gobbling. I thought that it was on like land that I couldn't hunt. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a trip back up there and see if we can uh, get on those turkeys again. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Three turkeys, three hunts. I'm gonna show my the map and have you talk about later like why we did what we did right there because it worked out pretty well. So until then, I don't know where the next one will be. I never know. I'm probably gonna go film with uh, old David Ellis a little bit. Film some hog trapping with him. And film some uh, some more content with him for his channel. I've been able to travel a bunch to some cool places, but every year, no matter what happens, I always make time to be here during the hunting seasons that I wanna be here for. Like, like dove season, uh, some duck hunts, uh, a few turkey hunts with Blake, and, and deer season. Uh, I always want to be here and spending time. Um, I always want to keep myself grounded when it comes to that because I feel like family and friends are the most important thing in this life. So I really have enjoyed this. And Blake's always been one of my best friends and uh, we've been on some pretty cool places together. And he's gonna come up with me to South Dakota to turkey hunt up there with me and Olivia. So uh, I'm looking forward to that, it's gonna be fun. And then I go to British Columbia and then I fly back home for a little bit. Is it good shooting? <laughs> so I go to British Columbia and then I come back here and then I, I go to British Columbia again and then I don't know where I'll be for a little bit. Then I go to and then I go to Kodiak, Alaska on a on a mountain goat hunt with Sam. Sam, I'm looking forward to that hunt with him, man. That's gonna be fun. So he's got a black tail. He's got a mountain goat and a black tail tag, and then he got me a black tail tag. So uh, I can't thank him enough for that. And I, I met Sam a couple of years ago working at Mossy Oak, and me and him have stayed really good friends and everything. And like, he's definitely one of my best friends. So it's been cool. It's been very, very cool to like, I have this network of people around me that is, I feel like I said in the last video, is the best people in the world, it feels like. And uh, it feels like life has gotten, um, it's gotten good anyway i hope you guys enjoy this i'm trying my best to, to to film the most i possibly can uh i got this new camera and i have like i have filmed so much it's the canon r5 and i have enjoyed the heck out of it i just want to say how much i truly appreciate all 748 of you it means the world to me and uh, i really appreciate it guys so i will catch you guys on the next one wherever that will be i have no idea but i appreciate you and i will catch you on the next one